guys how we are doing today i just got up i jumped into the shower got myself a little bit fresh and i'm now ready to start with one of my favorite morning stretching routines stretching in the morning is so important it is part of my daily morning routine part of my daily morning routine is also to have a huge glass of water every single morning right after i get up water in the morning is so important it's going to make you feel so much more energized because you're going to get hydrated straight after you get up also it's going to help you flush out all your toxins so yeah try it tomorrow morning after you get up have a glass of water prepared right next to your bed and make it a mission to drink it all off right before you leave the bed. So now have a sip of water and do the stretching morning routine with me together. So what we're gonna do first, we're just gonna move our head from side to side. Gentle, nice, slow and controlled. You can close your eyes I always really like to close my eyes when I stretch in the morning, especially when I do this exercise. Just because then I can really feel my body and I can feel where the tension has been collected from the day before. This looks like such a simple exercise, but it is actually so effective. Especially for me because my neck is really stiff and I know that there is a lot of people out there that have really stiff necks as well. For me, my right shoulder is really stiff because I always carry my handbag on the right shoulder, which is not really good because it causes muscle imbalances. So if you're a girl and you have a lot of handbags and you carry them on only one shoulder, think of it and try to change it. Try to switch your shoulder, um, try to switch where you are wearing your handbag. So if you always wear it on the right side, Try to wear it on the left side for a whole day and see whether it makes a difference. It for sure makes a difference if you do it every single day. Okay, again, close your eyes and hold one side. Hold it, move a little bit into the front, a little bit to the back with your head. Be gentle to your body, especially in the morning. You do not want to force any stretches. We don't want any ripped muscle, muscles or ligaments or tendons. It all happens. But for the morning, we just want to have some really nice, gentle morning stretches. Ready for us to start the day. And to the other side. Back and forth, back and forth. I know this looks probably really weird, but it's such an effective exercise. Honestly, guys, it's so important. Let's move on into some head rolls. Left side, nice and slow and controlled. Feel the stretch. I'm gonna do a few more. Also, not only if you're wearing handbags, also if you're carrying just backpacks all the time. All the tension collects in your, um, in your shoulders. And I bet a lot of you guys have shoulder problems or you just have a really tight neck. So really do this every single morning. It's so important. And we're going to switch the side. Just take a minute or two for only stretching your neck. Right, we're gonna stop and we're gonna place our hands behind our head and we're just gonna pull down you can roll your back a little bit and just feel the stretch going all the way through your through your spine down you're gonna feel the stretch ideally your shoulder blades in your neck all the way down through your spine nice and up Breathe in, place your fingers, place your hands underneath your shin and look up. Breathe in and breathe out. In and breathe out. Nice guys, now we're gonna move on into some shoulder rolls. It's all very simple exercises as you can see, but they're so effective. You can implement them into your daily morning routine and I promise you guys it's gonna make such a huge difference. 
You're gonna feel so much more prepared to start the day, honestly. And we're gonna go forward. I honestly never ever leave the house without stretching in the morning. Like it's so, it's so like placed in my in my in my head that I have to stretch. Otherwise, I just feel really stiff and I'm just like not comfortable to start the day. All right, we're gonna start to warm up our hips now. So place your fingers on each of your knees and we're just gonna go forward and back and big circle. Just feel your hips. Especially if you have sciatica. Sciatica is really, really bad pain and it's because in a lot of cases it's because your hips are tight like i was suffering from sciatica i know i'm really young and it's actually not for really young people to have sciatica but i do have sciatica because my hips are really really stiff so i do this every morning and it's also to prevent you guys from getting those sciatica pains because if you have experienced that you don't ever want to experience it again so yeah do this guys do yourself something good and stretch your hips in the morning because you do not want to get any injuries. And we're gonna go to the other side. It's not only stretching your hips, it's also mobilizing your hips. So if you feel stiff in your hips, which most people are feeling, do this every morning, it's gonna help you. Great. So now, we're gonna bend this one leg and one leg is gonna be straight. So we're gonna place our forearm down onto the ground and what we're gonna do is just look up. That's it. Up and out. Breathe out and breathe in. Breathe out and breathe in. And we're gonna go down to the floor and up. Down to the floor and up. And it's again to stretch not only your hips but also your entire left side. It's so important, guys. Stretching is not only important just so you're flexible and that eventually you're gonna get the split and the splits. Because most people just want to be like, oh, they want to show off their splits. But it's actually so important for your health as well. And also for your body, like, appearance. Because, believe it or not, but if you are actually flexible, it's going to show in your muscles. Like, your muscles are going to be lengthening. And it's going to make you look way too more toned and just, like, longer and leaner and prettier. So, really do this every morning. Stretch and extend your arm and look up. See if you can hold for a few seconds. Look up and don't forget to breathe. A lot of people forget to breathe, honestly. They're so focused on the pain of the stretch that they forget the most important thing and it's to breathe because if you don't breathe, you're not gonna live. So feel the whole stretch all the way through the left side of your body and up Whew. and obviously to balance it out we're now going to move on to the other side so bend your right leg straighten out your left leg and again place your forearm onto the ground in front of your left leg and we're gonna go down and look up and breathe out and breathe in and out and breathe in again feel the stretch all the way through the right side of your body and really take your time with this it's your body you only have one body to live in so your body deserves the attention it needs out and in and hold Extend your upper arm, look up to the ceiling, feel the stretch all the way down, all the way through your right side of the body. Look up and again, breathe and smile. 
You can close your eyes and try to go a little bit deeper into the stretch with every single breath out. So in and out and go a little bit deeper. In and out. All right, we're gonna move on and stretch our quads. My quads are always so tight in the morning, especially. So I'm gonna stretch my quads and my hip flexors right now. So bend both legs. I'm trying to have them in a, a 90 degree angle, both of them. 90 degree angle on the right side, 90 degree angle on the left side. And what we're gonna do is we're just gonna gently lie back like that. Just go, don't, don't force it too much. You don't need to go all the way down. Like I can't even go all the way down to the ground. Like it hurts my, my, yeah, it just hurts. <laughs> Feel the stretch. It should really stretch your hip flexor right now and your quads as well. Your quadriceps. And don't forget to breathe. If you can't get all the way down here, you can also go onto your hands like that. Or if you feel ready, you can go down like this. Or if you're more advanced, you can try to go all the way down to the ground and just lie and relax. Breathe, continue breathing. You can close your eyes. Nice, guys. And find your way up to the side. Like that. I'm gonna slowly come up and we're gonna switch our relax. So gently move on to the other side again. 90 degree angle on both legs. And we're gonna go back like this. Really nice and gentle. So starting on your hands, moving on to your elbows. And if you do feel ready, all the way down to the ground and look up. You can look up, you can close your eyes. The most important thing is just, again, breathe. Also, don't see the pain of the stretch, don't see it so much as pain. It really needs to be like a satisfying feeling for you guys because you're, gonna, you're, you're doing your muscles something good. You're lengthening your muscles, you're stretching your muscle, you are giving your muscles or your body a chance to flush out all the toxins of your, in, they are in, that you are in your body. Especially if you are detoxing or if you're fasting or if you're just on a diet or just in general life, it helps you so much to flush out all the toxins in your body. And the toxins in your body are the, the, um, the cause why you don't feel so toned. Like you can be really, really fit, but um, the definition in your body is missing because maybe you have too many toxins in your body. So maybe that's a wake up call to change something in your diet. Maybe do a juice cleanse, a three day juice cleanse. That's always really nice. And slowly and safely move up to the side. All the way up. And there we go, guys. That was a really nice and short 10 minute morning stretching routine that I do every single morning. Thank you so much guys for tuning in today. I hope you guys enjoyed my very first morning stretching routine. If you did, then why don't you subscribe to my channel and follow me on Instagram, Vanessa Bauer underscore skate. So I hope this helped you and maybe you're gonna get inspired to do more of this stretching exercise in the future. And I hope I'll see you soon again. Have a great day. Bye-bye.